right again, and it hurt. Look at his face. That was a trip. He, if he, he stepped on his foot, he went. Well, he may call it a knockdown. Clearly, what happened there was Jeff Sims stepped on Terrell Biggs. Well, they didn't call it a knockdown. We are going to stay now between rounds. We have just finished the fifth round. We're halfway through the fight. Let's listen to Terrell Biggs. Are you making a great fight out? Look out, look out. You hear what I'm saying to you? I got you. Take care of everything. Keep that going. Keep that jab going and keep it missing. You understand? Uh -huh. No problem, man. Now you can hit this guy with but one hand. It's okay. No, no problem, Doc. No problem. He's not getting hurt. He's not getting hurt. No, no. He's no pain, Doc. It's okay. He's okay, Doc. No problem, Doc. Keep that left hand. No. Doc, he's okay. No problem. Doc, he's all right. No problem. Keep that jab going. When he's fine. Right? Keep that jab going. 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 Keep that Drop your right hand to the body. Come back with your left hook. Put back in. We're gonna take this guy out of there. One. Okay. Okay, Jeff. Take this guy out of there. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Go. All right. All right. You heard the sales job by Lou Duvon, the doctor, and Biggs comes back out to start round six. At the halfway point, if you're scoring the fight, I have Terrell Biggs pitching a shutout. I just think he's landed more punches. I've got it four to one. I gave the third round to Sim. But I don't think there's any question that Biggs leads in the fight to this point. He is regaining increasing confidence in the left jab, with which he dominated round one. Is responding favorably. They know that Terrell Biggs is demonstrating some heart and some courage here. Yeah. I happen to think he's also demonstrating a bad tactic right here. The, a lot of that movement is empty movement. I'm not saying you should stand in front of Jeff Sims and let Sims sharpshoot. But all of this bouncing is very tiring to a man who's in his first 10 round fight. He doesn't have to move that much to land that right and left jab. A lot of this is unnecessary showboating and it's tiring. Meanwhile, he's tattooing soon. Look at how low Terrell is holding the left hand. Below his waist. If you're wondering why Jeff Sims just doesn't go after Terrell Biggs throwing punches, there are two answers, really. One is movement, like you just saw right there. Every time he throws a heavy punch and Biggs isn't there to hit, it makes him stop punching. And number two, he just is not a well-conditioned fighter. He's never had stamina. Good right hand by Sims. Good right hand by Sims to the body of Biggs. And that hurt Terrell Biggs. He's was... not dancing now. The left almost scored on the face. Terrell comes back to the left. Terrell showing you every punch you can throw with the left hand. The hook, the uppercut, and the jab. But you see how tired he is from that effort he put out in the first half of the round. And Sims lands the left right on the point of the chin. Terrell fights back. Sims getting a little wild, and Terrell is taking advantage. He's very tired, though. saying I'll fight you with one hand tied behind my back. Terrell Biggs is proving right here he could beat Jeff Sims with one hand totally useless. We are coming to the end of round six in what is thus far a courageous and impressive performance by Terrell Biggs. This fuck's for all that you do. live in round seven in Reno, Nevada. Jeff Sims comes out of his corner to face Terrell Biggs, who, depending on how you're scoring, has won five, six, or five, or perhaps even six rounds so far in this fight. Despite fighting most of it 